Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, I got a quick hack for you. Want to get you up and running real fast with your uh, Lingna uh, setup. So what you need to understand more than anything else is I've put a lot of time into this already. One of the things that you're gonna find out, the only way you can get people into your system is by manually doing it, uh, entering each person in at a time. Uh, but what we wanna do is save time on that. We can go and build out a web page, right? Uh, but if that takes too long, we could automatically do this one hack, one trick I'm gonna show you guys. So you get a data form. The only way you get in and you can put them in the cadences and the sequences and the follow-ups with the text messages and all of that is you create a data form. Now I created a data form here. Let's take a look at it. And when you go to create data form, it's just easiest. Uh, when you create a data form, you go in and you put the fields here, right? I created add data set. I want a first name, last name, email address, and phone number, right? And so what you do is you name the day, you name it here. When you have a success uh, URL, where do I want them to go after they submit the form? Here's what you do for here, um, external, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into a, um, swipe pages or your choice of a page maker or something like that. But this is your script right here. You just copy the script right here. All right. And then you go over to your swipe pages. I already created one here. I created an HTML content page, which is pretty easy to do. You just say, hey, I wanna create a HTML page, uh, content page. Here's an HTML block right here. Um, and then I just copy the uh, code in right here. This is the code. So I've already did it once. I just wanted to show you guys. So I copy the code in here, right? And then hit save, then hit preview, right? So when we hit preview, this is the page that comes up. Same page, but this is my data form right here. And this is just a template that I copied from swipe pages. I haven't did anything to it. I just wanted you to take a look at, you can take a swipe pages. You can be up and running tomorrow or in the next 20 minutes, go down to swipe pages. Here's my, here's where it shows up here. You can probably, probably try to format a little bit more. If you know a little bit of code, I can probably put a center tag here and probably center. And I call this interest data. So let's go take a look at that here. It's called interest data. I can probably change the name. I just said that it'll probably be like sign up here or learn more here, right? Leave your information here. This is just more of a test that I did and I'm gonna capture name, uh, first name, last name, email address and phone number, right? So let's go ahead and put a name in there. We'll put Jenny in there. We'll put Jones, I'll spell it with two S's. I don't know if there's a, there may be a problem taking the email, let's put an email in there. Um, let's go, uh, let's put, um, let me see. Uh, at realestate.com. Let's put a phone number in there, 916-445. Um, six two three one i don't know what number that is let's just put that in let's see what happens here and then let's hit submit okay so what happened on a submit is it goes to the actual page that i wanted it to go to because you can select that by going here um you can select that by going here and i told it what form to go to by going here. All right, as you can see, here's the number that I, here's the name that I put in. It's Jenny, I put in Jones, I put in an extra S right there and a Jenny Jones real estate, win-win real estate, I put that in there. These are all fake numbers, just testing out. These are tests I was doing earlier. So as you can see, you can put your data in on your swipe pages. Put your code in there, put it in a uh, HTML box, drop it in, you're good to go. All right, so that's just a quick hack for you, less than six minutes, I'm in and out. And now, 
what you can then do is you can then add them to an email campaign or you can add them to an SMS campaign or you could uh, you can make your calls from there. So you can click here. I can now that I'm in there, I come to my I come in the next day and see, oh, I got a lead that came in. I can click on the name and I can send them an email, SMS, voicemail. Uh, I can do a queue. I can put them in a call queue and have them called I'll call them automatically. So those give you your options. Or if three of them came in, these are all new three leads. I can do all three of them and I can send them to an e email or an SMS or a voicemail. That's how you get started with this thing. Hey man, I'm gonna try to put some more um, hacks together. Again, this has been Jenny Jones. I do not play around with these tools. I think there's been some questions around the tool, but I think by it being a blank canvas, you can do what you need to do. Get that code, get the data. All data, again, how you gotta pull the data from here. Okay, so yeah, you go to templates, put it in templates, you go to data, create your data forms. The only way people are able to get into the system is manually, and even manually, um, they'll probably still need a data form. And what you're gonna find out later is a lot of things are gonna go off of the data forms. So data forms are gonna be very important. You create custom fields for your data forms, and then pull those back later. A data form is just really email. Um, it asks for email. If it's a if it's a first name, it asks for text, last name, text. If it's a date field, you put a date in there. If it's a phone number, you put a phone number field. Those are data fields. All right, Jenny Jones. You guys take care. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Goodbye for now.